My reaction, uh, I uh, addressed it with our team. I said, well, the, the good news is we're not the Pac-11. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's futile whether you're picked first or second and just as futile if you're 11 or 12. I mean, they put you somewhere in the middle. You just say, well, I guess that's, you know, where we belong. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't really see it as a great challenge to our players other than we're going to come out and play uh, very aggressive uh, uh, basketball. And um, at the end of the season, it'll be either uh, our players were better basketball players and team than the prognosticators, or the, the coaches will sit back and say, I told you so. So. <laughs> Uh, either way, you know, the proof will be in the in the plane. The trip to Spain, how much? Yeah. What, what did you find out about your team? Yeah, I, I thought it was terrific. I mean, you know, uh, uh, our players uh, traveled together. You know, uh, went to the Prada Museum together, went swimming in the Mediterranean together, and played basketball, kind of as like uh, going to the museum. And it was it was great. I mean. We, we played well, we scored a lot of points, we won all our games. Uh, whatever this is, Pac-11, Pac-12, we'd like to play all our games over there. You know, we, we dominate. Yeah. So, no, no, but it, for them it was really great. And no cell phones. Mm. So I actually think that our players got to know their teammates, uh, rather than in this world where high and you know, they're talking to, uh, to somebody else. Talking to the girls about why they think they'll be better than 11. They have this sort of intangible idea about, oh, chemistry, and we're just sort of together. And how, how does that translate into success? Well, I mean, you have to do that in order for it to translate into success. But I think uh, it all started with our, you know, unusual practicing in the middle of August and then going on a, a foreign tour and, and players seeing that the, the person to the left and the right were pretty darn good. I'm like, hey, gee, I, you know, uh, you're good, I'm good, uh, let's go play. So I think they formed that feeling on their own. It wasn't like something I preached to them or said, hey, you know, this, this is the way it has to be. So I think they have that concept and uh, they're going to kind of let that out. They're going to they're gonna be a team. I think they feel that they don't, we don't have any star but maybe we'll have a five-prong star. So, uh. It seemed like one of the themes, just from the girls the last few minutes, was they all said you want them to run faster. Absolutely. How close are they to running <laughs> at the speed that you want? Well, uh, it's getting better. Uh, I'm a hard one to convince. Uh, uh, a fellow told me that uh, in his military life and training, they would tell them, the easiest day you had was yesterday. So for them, we're going to make sure that their easiest day was yesterday. So today's going to be harder. And eventually, uh, they can get it. Are they starting ahead of where they were the last couple of years? Uh, no question. Same? Yeah, no question. Our team is uh, much more you know, in the flow. Uh, they understand what it is we want to do. And especially our, our young freshmen who like in the past, it would take them half the season to begin to figure things out. Uh, you know, and now uh, they're right up to speed with everybody else. What is it you want to see them improve upon most this year? Speed. speed. Uh, uh, on the break, get down there faster. Get get more open shots. Get more open offensive rebounds. I mean, uh, uh, if, if you go at three-quarter speed, you run and get tired and get nothing. You go at full speed and you run and get open shots and get seconds. So, a big difference between three quarter and full. How do you replace a player like AJ coming into this season? Yeah, that's hard. I mean, I, I, well, I mean, if you're going to say Amanda Johnson, it's like we have three stars: Nia Jackson, uh, Jasmine Holiday, and and AJ. And uh, all power to them. They were great kids for us, but like, forget about them. I mean, like they they they're not here. Uh, their pictures are here and their memories and, and but. So these young kids just have to step in and say, well, we're here. And I think that's their spirit. From a coaching standpoint, in terms of the, the Spain trip, how much are you able to take away and learn about your team from an X's and O's standpoint versus that being, you know, given the competition, versus that being more of a, a chemistry building experience? 
Well, you know, I've never been a big X and O guy anyway, so uh, much of what I do really is chemistry. You know, it's you know, it's getting to play quick, fast, hard every moment, and quicker and faster and harder the next moment. So, uh, and if if anything that has changed with them, uh, we're doing less and less X and O. Uh, more similar to my first year here with uh, Taylor Lilly and Michaela Cox and that group. You had to micromanage a little bit more the last couple of years in terms of X's and O's. Yeah, and I guess. Like yeah, I guess. I mean, I, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. I, you know, I, 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 see, I saw a stuck, and I tried to unstuck them, and probably you get more stuck. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to avoid that uh, this year. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to unstuck them. How deep do you think this group could be? Are you going to have a bench eight, nine? Well, we had eight. Months? We had eight players that go to uh, Spain. Probably the least amount that any team has ever gone abroad with is uh, eight, you know, active players. Uh, no one of the group that didn't play are back yet. And as you would expect, we have a couple tweaked injuries of the eight. So uh, by next Tuesday, we'll have five. I guarantee we're going to have five people there. <laughs> So anything on AT or Janita, anything new? No, not, I mean, really yeah. no change. I mean, just like, you know, evolving, rehabbing, day to day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but week to week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, could I ask a big picture question? I'm sorry to kind of throw a fastball high and hard under your chin, but, you know, fourth year of the program. Yeah. Picked 11th. And I yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people who sit in those seats would be like, hey, this is, this is where, where we thought you guys would be going into your fourth year. And then he, yeah, I mean, I coach every year like it's going to be our best year. I mean, I, I've been in business too long to, to to worry or calculate about you know what folks in the stands might be calculating. Yeah. You know, and, uh, so I'm, you know, I think we're going to be a a good solid team that you know the players will play together and want to play together and. You know, that's more than half the battle. So how good our opposition is, and it's really hard to dictate. You know, I know they're going to be very good. But, uh, it's really a non-issue for me, Rob. It might be an issue for others, but it's not for me. And, and it's not for where you team. guys are at. Yeah, I mean, I, I, but I mean, I, I would be someone to be concerned if I thought, gee, you know, I got players and they're not really responding real mm. well. And, you know, they, they, they're not working real hard and they, they seem to be separating and not liking each other or me or... Yeah. No, I mean, it, it's the reverse. They're, they're, they're hardworking, good kids that, that, you know, they look at you and say, give me more. So that's really the important part of, of coaching and this team. Thank you. What are your expectations for the season? Besides the speed, but beyond that, you well, my expectations are always score 100 points a game. So, you know, there's one. I mean, uh, win a whole bunch. Uh, 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 and uh, as always, uh, you're going to have some bumps where you're going to lose a tough game, uh, you know, uh, come back and get after it. Uh, Do you think there will be more bumps on the road losing all those seniors for the last You would think so. I, 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 we'll find out, but I, I, I don't. I mean, I, uh, you know, a year ago, I probably would be standing here saying, "Heck, uh, we should be picked first or second or third in the league." You know, uh, it doesn't matter what what you're picked and who you have. It's you know what you do and how you deliver. Uh, and no sense talking about last year, but we did have some very unfortunate uh, injuries, a la Amanda Johnson missing 12 games in the middle of the season with broken hand and things like that. So, but uh, it is what it is. But I think we're going to, I would say we're going to be a better team this year than we were last year. You anticipate getting Brenner when she's done playing? Yeah, I mean, Liz Brenner is like, you know, uh, she's more than a bonus. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, gee, we got this little extra designated hitter that's going to come in. I mean, uh, Liz Brenner is a for real, uh, even though she, to my knowledge, from the last game she played to sometime in December when she appears she's never picked up a basketball but she will be better because of her experience she'll say oh, I, I get it I know I I'm all right
give me give me a day, coach. No, give me a, an hour, and I'll, and I'll be fine. So that'll be a nice bonus for us, the sprinter. So whatever people are thinking, uh, we're a, a good step higher with Liz. Okay. Thank, Thank you, coach. Good. Thank you.